today I'm going to be doing a video on how I clean my brushes. Um, I'm basically just going to be showing you as I wash them and explaining um, what I'm doing and what I'm using. But I'm just in my bathroom right now and we're just going to be cleaning them in the sink. So today I'm going to be using these three tools right here as well as some warm water from my sink. But I like to use this. This is actually um, something I got at Sally's. I use the Dr. Bronner's Magic Soaps. Um, I know you can get this at Target. I don't think I've seen it anywhere else. Um, but they have this bottle here, which is I think around $4. I'll have it um, linked below. And then they have bigger bottles, which is what I'll probably be getting the next time just because I really did like it. But it's a pure castor soap um, made with organic oils. So it's really good for using with your brushes because it helps keep them um, very soft it does not dry them out and it's also very inexpensive and I really like using it to clean my brushes and then I'm also going to be using um, the alcohol this is 70% I got this at Target as well but you can get it obviously anywhere uh, but I use the 70% it helps not dry out the brushes as much and I use this more for uh, my foundation brushes or my beauty blender anything that is definitely needs cleaned a little bit more. Now I will go and tell you that I have not cleaned my brushes in a while, so don't be shocked, but they definitely need cleaned. Um, but this stuff will definitely help get that taken care of. It's gonna show you just how well it'll clean the brushes. So that's why I did wanna wait a little bit extra than I probably normally would or should. But I hope you guys enjoy this video, so let's get started. I'm gonna start out today with my face brushes um, and I'm going to be putting this down over here next to the sink and just running some warm water and you don't want it too hot and then I just mix it into my hand as you can see here and add a little bit of water at a time you just want to rinse them until the water runs clean as you can see there, that white color has come back into that brush, whereas before, it was like that. So again, you can see it's obviously coming off in my hand. Just be sure to work it in really well, and before you even rinse it, it'll start coming off. And then that color just washes right out. This one is a foundation brush. Um, this used to be white and I can bring that back, but I'm going to be using the alcohol with this one. As you can see here, it's getting all of that gunk out. And then when you do use the alcohol, I always go back in with that soap just to make sure that it helps condition and keep those the brushes nice and soft. Then here with my eye brushes, I'm basically just like my thick fuller brushes, um, like my blending brushes and everything like that. I'm just going to be using the soap for. Um, some of the ones like your lid brushes that you maybe use with glitter or <clears throat> a cream shadow, I would definitely go in with the alcohol, but then just make sure that you use the um, soap or some kind of moisturizing uh, cleanser afterwards just to help keep the brushes because these are on your eyes so you really want to make sure that they stay nice and soft and moisturized that way they can help blend the shadows and everything out better this one I use glitter on so it's really really dirty so I'm going to use a little bit of alcohol I would also use alcohol for any like eyeliner brushes or if you use like a eyebrow pomade or anything like that this one is just, it needs a little bit of extra cleaning, so I'm just going to rub it out in the alcohol. You can definitely do a couple runs through of the cleansing. You can do it more than once if you need to, if you have a really dirty brush like your foundation brush or your beauty blender. As you can see there, but the product is coming out all over my hands and it's really getting that clean. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to check back every Tuesday and Thursday. And please don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.